Ooh, look at it. Ooh, pretty. Hi guys, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back again to talk about a lot of different things, y'all. A few things we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to be the Melissa and X Juvia's Place palette. So the lip reflect gloss and the glass lip gloss in the shade Ruby Rose and She's Royal. So we're gonna be talking about some new Juvia's Place things and including some comparable Juvia's Place palettes with it. And y'all, just a warning, I will be talking about the US Capitol things political. So I might do that on this channel i don't know if anyone's gonna come and be new hi if you're new and if you already been here hey girl what's up i know some of this political talk could be sensitive to some people and i understand that so i'm just putting that out there we will be talking about that today so before i jump all the way into all of that don't forget to like subscribe to my channel which is nearly doing things and also don't forget to leave a comment below and don't forget to hit the notification button while you're down there as well. I'm gonna start off with the packaging, of course. So with the Juvia and Melissa palette collab, this one I believe it was the same price as well. I'm gonna say these are both 15. They have two pressed pigments, one eyeshadow, and they have one glitter in this palette. So with this palette, it's just like the Fumi one. It's a small, cute, little dainty palette. Look at her, cute, cute, cute. And they do give you these four gorgeous shades in them. Very, very romantic. I'll break kind of pink palette. It's very simple, nothing too big. Next, we're gonna be talking about is the glosses. Ah, now I finally got myself some of the glosses. I was like, I'm gonna get them after Christmas. Let me see after Christmas if I still want them. And I did. So the colors we have is Ruby Rose. This is the glass lip gloss. She's got a beautiful set in the front, a red turban, and then she has a bright red lip. Washed out pink on the top, like a light blush pink and it goes down to white. So I do like that about the packaging. And lightweight, non-tacky, long-lasting, and high shine. One thing I love about these glosses, look at the inside, y'all. Like, look at that. The print on the inside, I love when they do that. Little details is good. So Ruby Rose, look at this color. With this shade, y'all, you do get that beautiful, like juicy red. And then the Lip Reflect Gloss, this one is She's Royal. So we have a beautiful, beautiful purple turban on the head, purple lip. Purple is elite, in my opinion. Same thing again, y'all. See, look at that. It's that pretty little print in the front. It does have the gold topper on there. It has a gold little print with the pink on there. Juvia right smack dab in the middle. Packagings to me are very simple with these. We've had the other gloss before and also too we have had you know different sizes of palettes that are the same. Simple but cute. If you guys want this beautiful deep pink look, stay tuned. All right y'all so today is going to be a little talk through because I don't know if you guys can tell all the crazy nonsense that has been going on Pretty sure you all have. So the first color I wanna start off with, the palette is Dominant. We're gonna go into this shade. All the stuff that happened, and you guys already know what I'm talking about, the US Capitol. It's terrifying, it's terrible, it's ridiculous, it's not right. I don't care how anyone tries to twist it and turn it. It is not right, all the things that had happened and things that we're still finding out would happen. It's crazy how at first people kept trying to say they are rioters or you know, they're just upset. I said, no, they're terrorists. They are terrorists, say what they are. Going in there, sitting down, people having robes or Ziploc ties. And you know, the biggest disgusting thing I've seen is them come in with the Confederate flag. We all know what they're trying to say. We all know what they're trying to do and say, let's not play dense and stupid and dumb here. We know what they're trying to say and do. Pretty much them saying, this is ours, blah, 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 which, you know, is extremely disgusting and racist and terrible. So the whole point that you walk in there like that, like, oh yeah, we're still keeping up that regime. This type of mindset, y'all, needs to be outdated. It needs to be against the law. It needs to be against the law. It's This is not normal. He lost being a president. It's a game. That's what happens. You win some, you lose some. We lost Hillary. We lost other people in the past. We have lost all kinds of presidents and people that we believe are more of a potential for our government at this time or in our lives, we just wanted to see this. I'm getting tired of seeing the same looking type of people. And you know who I'm talking about people, the same people that are, you know, older, they are the same certain type of race and they're the same gender. We're getting really, really tired of it. Especially people that are younger like me, we really are tired of seeing the same old, same old thing. And also too, people are not coming with what they should be coming with. And the whole point of them being able to come in there, I've seen all the clips, I've seen it. They literally are walking some older lady down the steps after she took her butt upstairs to go and do that and be part of the rah-rah and then would help down. 
That was all the inside job. They all knew each other. Every single person that was there, including the cops that let them in those barriers and did all that, they all need to be arrested as literally trying to take over democracy. Like they all need to be prosecuted. And I just seen earlier, they got one of the guys that I guess broadcast it when he was there. And they go to his house to arrest him and tell me why his grandmother or something, you know, he's a good man, he's that. You're holding a terrorist in your house. Now, you know, if that other person was of another melanin and they had a hijab on their head, you guys already know what it would have been. Okay, you're not calling them terrorists enough. Yeah, domestic terror, yeah, but they're straight up domestic terrorists. Say what it is. And then the whole point, they said a lady died. Well, she pretty much was a veteran. So you're a veteran and you went rogue against your own country and then you end up dying. You were a terrorist. You went rogue. You went against your own people. That's how I see it. And then the cop that died, they actually try to protect. To me, he's the one that's a hero. He deserves the right. She don't deserve any news, any news, anything. Yeah, but you say, well, her family, your family knew. Y'all all think, that probably a lot of y'all think the same way as her. It's not fair that you get to be put up there and say, she died. She's a terrorist. That's why she died. She didn't follow orders. She's a terrorist. She went rogue. And then when, um, like I said, the cop that did die that he was trying to protect, he pretty much went to Iraq and he comes back to get killed by his own. That is what I'm sad about. Cause that's just this that's just disgusting there was no reason for him to be dead there's no, just it's disgusting and them being in there that whole confederate flag and them just being in there and then sitting at nancy pelosi's seat the thing that really got to me y'all is that literally the flag thrown to the side on top of the table and then like my dad's a veteran so and he was in the military for like over 20 years so it really, really bothers me to see people doing that. And I know very, very well, they look at me and say, you don't know anything about, you know, America, you know nothing. It's like, I was really raised the most, most American way. It's just, it really is disrespectful. And then for him to put his feet up there on the table and then they got them all outside y'all talking and interviewing like, oh, sorry, I almost forgot. I'm going into the shade modern up here, that nice rich color. I'm putting it in the front just a little bit. And then when they got him outside, he was calling her out her name. Like they really hate Nancy Pelosi. They are very, very intimidated by her. And it kind of makes me laugh, kind of not, to see these old big men scared of some little old lady. It's just funny to me how if there's such men why are you calling a woman out her name and stealing her stuff and you're obsessed with her? I just think you're intimidated by this little woman. And that means she's quite powerful. So boohoo for you. I'm gonna go into the next shade, guys. Perfectionist, it's a pretty one right there. So the person that shall not be named, um, they need to leave the White House. I'm just gonna give you that clue. Said he was very happy to see all that go down. They wanted them to riot. Just because you lost, get over it. You cheated and then you still lost. It was going to come to an end anyways. What did you think was gonna happen? Almost half a million people are dead in the US and then Europe's there mad because uh, they're doing something fraud, I could tell, was still not proven nothing. And it's just, it's disgusting, it's disgusting. I said, get him out of there, impeach him. I said, I don't want him to ever be able to run. I don't want his family be able to run for president at all. Then I'm going to the shade Extravagant, this one. That one, that little glitter one. Ooh, look at that, ooh. Pretty. They should never be able to be near anything federal government ever again. <laughs> I don't care how much money, they should ban them. He, he need to go, he, he needs to go. Just get him out of here. This is why I did not vote for him years ago. Four years ago, I did not vote for him and I didn't vote for him now. And that's exactly why. We're going to the shade modern again. I'm going that crease there. They need to make sure they're severely prosecuted and anybody that's associated with him, even the ones now, y'all, they saying people are jumping ship. No, you don't get to jump ship. They need to grab them back by their hair and say, come back here. You're not going nowhere. I really feel like they should not be able to get out and jump ship. Yes, you can say, well, their names are forever ruined or, you know, I'm like, no, 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 no. They should be banned. They try to overthrow democracy, y'all. They need to be out, forever out. And they families as well. Everyone teach them a lesson and say, you want to play this game? We can play it harder. What I seen online, which was absolutely disgusting, someone online had the nerve to put that lady that died. That told them, say her name, hashtag. Don't you ever, ever, ever use that. That is for black women only. Stop stealing things off of black women. Stop using this whole that, oh, it's the same way. It's not the same way. What did she die from? Breaking a window in the US Capitol and they're telling her stop and she's died. And you're talking about say her name. We're not saying nobody's name, okay? I'm gonna say a rogue terrorist did something. It doesn't even make sense. The definition of it doesn't even make sense. So stop doing that. 
I'm going in with that modern color again. That's not freedom of speech. That is literally terrorism. So I don't care what anyone says that, ooh, look how that blended. And I'm going back in the shade dominant for the Cuba. Y'all had plenty of years to speak and prove your point and say stuff. All you did was be racist, sexist, you know, be homophobic. Y'all did everything. You proved it exactly what we thought. You know how disrespectful it is that people like myself, that their parents are veterans, or their grandparents are veterans that are still alive, and then them seeing them hold that, the flag upside down, and just disrespectful, and then act like you're still American. To me, they're un-American. It's un-American, they are terrorists, they are traitors. That's just how I see it. So that's my full just argument with the whole thing. I just think it's really, really ridiculous. You literally, how dare you? You know what I mean? Just cause you lost a vote. I'm gonna throw on some lashes y'all and then we gonna finish up this look with some lippies. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and my chat about that. I did want to add one more thing, y'all. From my standpoint as being a woman that is black, I see when they do bring up that lady and using hashtag say her name with her, it's a race of black women. And also if it was a black woman that did that and she was a veteran all that, no one would ever know that she is a veteran. They wouldn't care, they wouldn't believe it. They would have all kinds of probably derogatory terms to her and every kind of thing in the book and find out that she's all this they wouldn't they wouldn't even listen they wouldn't even care even people from unfortunately her own race would dog her out or not even hear anything of what she's saying even though to me even if it was a black woman doing it she would be a domestic terrorist to me too i know it wouldn't have been the same at all but that's just my experience so y'all with this palette they do give you four gorgeous colors my favorite color off the bat is going to be perfectionist she is very nice and smooth. I can do it with my finger or brush. She is very nice. I do like Dominant. I'm not mad at it, but she looks a lot lighter in the pan than she does show up on your eye. I use that in my background and you really probably can't tell. It doesn't look anything like this kind of blushy kind of pink. That's why I'm kind of like, huh? That kind of confused me. Modern, that one is very pretty, but it's traditional. I figured it was gonna look that good because it's matte and it's dark and rich maroon. I knew I was like, oh, it's gonna look good. So the glitter extravagant, that one is a very extravagant color. One thing I realized with these glitters too, a lot of these do wipe off a lot easier, but it does get a majority of the glitter when you wipe it off just with a wipe or some oil cleansing oil. It is not bad, it's not bad. Like I said, it's not my favorite because y'all know on this channel, I always say with glitters, I'm not a big fan. I'm not really a big fan of glitter, but it's okay. You can make a lot of looks with just these simple colors, you can but these just don't wow me compared to the Fumi one. So I wanted to do some comparisons, y'all, from the Mini Juvia's collection. I'm gonna do some swatches too, y'all, so you can see. So those, again, they look like they're in the same color story in the pan, but not when you put them on the skin. All three of these, they literally look like different levels. To me, now the swatches on, they do not actually compare within each other. They are partly in the same color story besides the shimmers. The shimmers, no, but the mattes, they are in the same color story. They're just not the same shade whatsoever. They do have very, very close similarities in the Mobs and Melissa palette. These look quite similar, in my opinion. So now to open the palette, these don't look the same whatsoever. The Mobs and the Berries palette, to me, they look like they could be in the palette. They're a little bit, just slightly different. Next out of the bunch, y'all, is gonna be the lip glosses. So I'm gonna start with the Ruby Rose. It is a glass lip gloss. This is supposed to have that nice glass shine to it. I'm gonna pop up some swatches so y'all can check out these glosses. With this, the cap, everything, how it smells. This leaves a nice tint on the lips. I was so, so excited when I seen that. I just said, oh man, oh man. This was good. I thought it was gonna be like one of those lip oils so you can't really see it on the lips on the website. And I said, 
That looks nice though. It looks very nice and red and juicy. This one is really interesting because it does look like it's like a jelly cherry. Still love this applicator, y'all. I like how big it is in the little cup down there, like the little cup inside, you just scoop it up. And these two, by the way, retail normally, I wanna say these are $10, I wanna say. And then I got mine for like six or $7 and they had the little sales. And last we're gonna talk about is the She's Royal. This is the Lip Reflect Gloss. These are always more pigmented and richer. We all know that now. This one, look at this perp. Look at her, she is gorgeous. This Lip Reflect Gloss is so pretty. It is like a cool purple, but it's still pigmented. It's not like an ashy kind of purple. This one really does have more of that like, like fall time purple. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really pretty. It's so pretty. Again, amazing applicator, nice little divot in the bottom of it. It's still just so beautiful. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. Fall time purple. I have like a summertime purple. I have the fall time purple. So this is very, very pretty. I love it. And y'all, that is actually all for my video today. I know I had a very big stance on political things. It's just a lot has been going on. I feel like I was anxiety, anxious again. It's just, it's a lot. It's just a lot that has been going on. I hope everyone is safe. Stay safe. Think of your actions before you do it and think about what you're saying. Think, why do you think this way? And especially if it's violent like that, why do you think that way and, and why do you think you get to do that? So just think about stuff before you do it. And also guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching me, which is Nelly doing things. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know down below which one is your favorite. Do you love the glosses or do you like the palettes out of Juvia's Place? And don't forget to hit the notification button while you're down there as well. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Bye.